am so excited. This is a new chapter for the Kenya Madagascar office. It's not just uh, about you know moving from Matundu Close to Riverside, but there's a symbolism that the move represents. It has symbolism in the fact that we want to, not that we haven't been uh, professional in how we you know, um, roll out our programs. We need uh, ambition, which is one of our values, and we need lots of rigor in our thinking. We can't do the same old, same old. Uh, that will not get us to where we want to be, uh, at least not uh, in the new world. The legitimacy of uh, organizations such as ours are being questioned every day. You know, why you? Why save the children? And we can articulate the answer to that. Because ideologically, fundamentally, we believe in children's rights. It's part of our DNA. As you're here with us in this space, you are a child in Kenya or a child in Madagascar and have that in mind as we go through this process. So this gives us an opportunity to just really go back, step back and have a sense of what our strategy is about and most importantly for us to see our role going forward, being very clear, having a very compelling story and minimizing complexity because the work that we do in and of itself is already complex. And of course, trying to break down lots of bureaucracy, but really asking ourselves, what is the value add that we bring to the space in Kenya and in Madagascar? I'd like to remind you that child rights programming is a matter of head. So we think about it, we strategize, but it's also a matter of heart. So it's the passion that you show up with, and it's the willingness to go all the way. When I see a new office opening like this, it's quite reminiscent of what I've gone through through my journey in Save the Children. I do hope that by moving to Merchant Square, the same will also reflect on us in terms of the trajectory. I know it's going to be uncomfortable, change is normally different. We've stayed there for like, for me that's been my reference point, so I'll take a bit of time to really have a new reference point in, in Merchant Close. But what I wanted to say is we need not just to move physically, but also let's move with our mindset to the new uh, ways of working and the new dreams, the ambitions, let's reinvigorate the change that we're talking about, the theory of change, let's refresh. For me, it's a 10 plus years at Save the Children and for sure it is not going to be easy for us for the first few times. And so as we come here, let's remember what we had here for and uh, remember that uh, we are here to impact the youth and the children and I can tell you I'm looking at a brighter future for all of us at uh, Merchant Square. Happy new beginnings. If I look at it the entire circle change is very good we were at Matundu Close we now have a better office so we are in a better organization and that's why I'm saying if I'm given an opportunity to pick anything else in an organizational pick change. And that is why we are here celebrating our new office. I'd really love to thank our guest of honor, who on short notice could be our guest of honor. Gwen was passing through Nairobi to launch another project, and she agreed gracefully to be our guest of honor as well. So thank you, Gwen. So it's a pleasure to be here, and I, I really couldn't resist. Um, you know, just seeing the wonderful work that you do in Kenya, Madagascar. We reach tens of million children globally every year. That is fantastic. But there are billions. There are billions of children in the world and it's a young future. So how do we then reach those billions through stepping up, campaigning, advocacy, evidence, partnering with others? And here in Nairobi with the work that you do, you're so well placed to harness those wider partnerships. Talking to partners to hear about the brilliant work that you're doing, I can't resist and I will take that back and make sure that we continue to support you with all the work that you do. So thank you so much. Right, one, two, three, to new beginnings. Let's see our own. Let's see our own until they finish cutting. <laughs> <laughs>